everybody, welcome back to the Dead Red Lips YouTube page. Uh, we're doing another gear video today. Um, we're going to try and do these weekly. Uh, we're going to do ones, bits and bobs and everything. Today, I'm going to show you, because I keep getting asked, how we get our psychedelic sound. So I'm going to take you back through my rig. Uh, there will be a link in the description for the rig rundown if you want to go check that out. That was the rig then. I have modified it a little bit, only amp-wise. I'll explain all in a minute. But the one question I get asked, we have a bit in our set, in the middle of the set we play something called Digital Ghosts, which you can hear underneath me now, should be playing in the video, thanks to editing, cool. Um, you can go and buy that, that is our debut single, you can get that on iTunes, Spotify and all the places you buy music. So go and buy Digital Ghosts, 10 minutes of wonderful freeform jamming, which we put vocals over and put out as a song because it's so good. Um, there is that song and a song called Dead Red Lips, which you will have heard on the vlog videos, maybe underneath. Um, that hasn't been released technically yet, that's just a demo. But we play those live and I use two pedals for them and people will ask me every gig, how do you get that sound? How do you get that washy effect on Digital Ghosts? How do you get that wavy effect on Dead Red Lips? The psychedelic stuff, what do you do? So I'm gonna take you through my rig and we're gonna uncover the secrets of the psychedelic sound. So I'm gonna take you through what I'm using. So today I am using my current live setup so basically, I'm using my Encore, Seymour Duncan in the humbucker, in the bridge pickup, makes it squeal and screech, it's lovely, it works so well, I haven't broken a string yet, so that's good, um, I, I do beat it to an inch of its life, you can go check out the set videos, um, all half an hour performances on our page now, so go check those out. Um, so yeah, I am using currently still my Behringer PB1000 board, all self-powered and everything, you know the drill, I did it in the rig rundown, I've got the chromatic tuner TU300, Superfuzz SF300, Vintage Tube Overdrive TO800, Ultra Tremolo UT300, Digital Reverb DR600, Vintage Delay VD400, and my Vintage Phaser, Phase Shifter. Model VP1 as a set list. That, that's set list for our first ever show. I just haven't had the courage to take out the board yet. So yeah, this is the bit I'm talking about here. The two songs, three and four, Dead Red Lips, Digital Ghosts. Um, these are the songs I use two pedals on. But amp-wise, at the moment, I am using this beautiful Line 6 Spider, 30 watts. Sounds great at the moment without. Without any effects on, it sounds like this. So that's that. There's slight reverb on it, nothing too fancy because I usually have reverb on the board. So when I have just my clean sound, it would sound like this. So that's that. That is my clean sound. That is the sound I use on every song. If I need a boost, I'll stick the overdrive on. If I need really, really gnarly distortion, I use the fuzz. Most of the time, I do have this delay pedal on. Now, the delay is the secret to the sound. That I will. That that is the secret to the sound. Um, that is how we get the washy effect on Digital Ghost. If you listen to Digital Ghost, there is a bit in the middle where the song breaks into almost chaos and the bass and the drums carry it and we're all playing fills and I do certain things on the delay pedal which I shall demonstrate yeah I'll put that there um, so yeah I use the delay pedal basically if I take you down the delay pedal will sound like this I have it set there and there. So there's the settings, the repeat rate and the intensity. These are the two that you need to focus on because these are the two that answer the question I get constantly. The echo I don't use much because I have a, I have my echo on, I have my reverb on and it, it sort of muddies the sound too much. So I use that and what I do if I just play one
And you see that basically takes the signal and you've got it set to a certain point on the delay pedal. And you take the signal and it's it's repeating the signal back. And it's got a set repeat, so it's going do 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 and it will just keep doing that if you don't touch it. Um, or until you play another chord or something and it goes through the signal again. Basically what I do, unintentionally of just mucking around with the pedal, is I just played with the dials and realised you can get those cool synthy sounding effects. So what you do is you turn the repeater rate, as the signal's repeating back you turn it, and it, it gets confused and it tries to come back even quicker or slower depending on what you do. And then it starts, it's just feedback and you just use it as that and you can play one note, one chord on the guitar and that just repeats the signal back. And that is generally it. I just play with those two dials on this one pedal and yeah, that's it. That's, that's the crazy psychedelic sound of digital ghosts. Uh, Dead Red Lips is a little bit more simpler. Um, everything on. So it sounds like this. So I could do this whole set, this whole set here, with just these two pedals because my amp is distorted enough and the delay is can be like a reverb. But for digital ghosts on the recorded version I use the phaser live I tend not to I use every other pedal but the dead red lips the phaser is the main sound um, insert clip here <laughs> you'll hear me playing dead red lips so yeah basically it's the phaser the delay and the reverb that make that lovely washy sound which is where the psychedelicness comes in so that's that's essentially it. You'll you'll see the playing and stuff and all that. So um, that is essentially it. If you have any other questions on our rigs, I know Hayden will be doing one. We will do a bass one on how he gets his psychedelic sound. We'll run you through what he does to crazy the sound up more because there's only three of us, so that's how we get the sounds. If you need more in-depth, or you want something else, let us know. We will be doing more videos on how we record music. That'll be up next week. So you can go check that out. You can see how we record music. It's a easy, very easy process, and people will turn their noses up at it, but we don't really don't care. <laughs> so um, yeah, go check that out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for this video. Go onto our page, check out all the content that's on there. You've got two rig rundowns for bass and guitar, simple rundowns, uh, two set videos, countless vlogs. Go check it out, spread the word. Thank you, we'll see you soon. <laughs>